Right guys, so quick video. I thought I may as well, you know, make it a video. Because why not? So I had an error showing uh, on my uh, display uh, saying electro electric traction system fault stop vehicle see onboard documents. Now, you know, I'll, I'll most probably put the photo as well. Unfortunately, I wasn't, you know, smart enough at that moment. I didn't think through to uh, take a photo and show you guys, uh, you know, like, like a small light here and another one here. And I will see whatever you have seen in, in this area. So it was, uh, it was a bit disheartening because I was thinking what in the world that might be. So, you know, option number one, obviously, I went ahead and, you know, I booked... I booked, um, you know, like a service, whatever, like a diagnosis, they call it with uh, Peugeot, which, by the way, they have asked 150 pounds, which I believe it's almost like extortion just to put on OBD. But hey, their time, their money, I suppose. Right. So uh, that fault, you know, now does not show anymore. It's not here. We're all Gucci. And what we have done. Um, we have also charged the battery and I believe that might be the reason so just to kind of keep you in the loop with why I believe this might have been the problem and what it has generated I haven't charged the battery for like 6,000 miles or actually more than that 7,000 miles or something like that which obviously for an EV vehicle or for a Peach you know EV vehicle it's not bueno so uh, at the moment, uh, you know, we are just about, you know, 60-70%. So what I'm going to do, uh, just to make sure I get it to 100%, I go to eSafe. It does have this capacity of, uh, you know, kind of regenerating or putting, you know, electricity back in the battery. Uh, if you set it to max, set it to max. And what this is gonna do? This is gonna take the uh, the battery to full, uh, and there you have it, max. Now, obviously, my way back home, um, I think I charge about two or three miles using this function. Uh, then I left the car in an actual car charger, you know, to charge. Um, and I'm not sure if that might have been sorted the issue, kind of the car recognizing the fact that I have charged it. Just gonna go ahead and you know have it to the max and then I'm gonna use it and then I'm gonna charge the car using an actual car charger again. Uh, you know, at least half of it and let's see how that's gonna go. If by any chance I'm still gonna have the same issue, obviously I'll have to take advantage of the pre-booking I have made with Stellantis and you in Sheffield and we'll we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, it was uh, it was a very interesting day yesterday. Let's let's call it that way. Keep you guys in the loop. Have a good one. Bye now.